Just doing a little quick unboxing video of my Wasatch, Wasatch, uh, new water cruiser here. So, um, basically opening it up, checking it out, got the seats, obviously, uh, seat backs, so that's pretty cool. Comes with it, um, also comes with a motor mount that they claim to install right in this area as well, um, lifetime uh, product or manufacturer which was also designed in let's see a design in the US and the hulls made in the US so little drain handles uh, there is a keel on the front with a wheel uh, helps you move it around a little bit that's obviously the inside of it um, using my Gerber there to unwrap the plastic here so gives a good idea a little canoe here so did some research and from what i found this one uh has some pretty good ratings people seem to be happy with it uh it does come handles on both ends uh front seat and rear seat have the backs i just haven't set them all up yet and this is the motor mount here These are supposed to be fishing pole holders, so uh, from reviews I've seen, they don't work great, but they do technically work, so, um, and it doubles as a drink holder, which with this, I doubt that's really going to hold anything. Uh, same with these, which are drink holders that honestly, yeah, I don't think it's holding much, so uh, it might though. Um, the boat... Did come with some scratches on it. I did pick it up, transport it myself, but I don't believe those are from my ladder racks because that's some pretty bad gouges there. So, uh, and it, I don't know. I just, I just don't think that was that was me, but maybe it was. I don't know. There was also this up here, which is a little, and eh, you know, nothing major, but. I don't know if it's coming through. Got a decent little scratch there. And one there that goes all the way across. So, um, yeah. Um, is it going to get scratched? Yeah. But they should be my scratches, you know. Uh, so, I don't know. And, unfortunately, this was more than what everybody's getting them for, too. But, I don't know if it's a New York thing or what. Because, uh... A lot of people are saying they're getting them for around four, and this one out the store was like six forty nine. So tax and everything, so it's a big difference. But like I said, I believe I said it's supposed to be thirteen feet long, uh, which I'm gonna actually check because I think it might be a little longer. To be honest with you, um, basically a uh, six hundred pound capacity. Uh, it's upside down to you, but uh, max load 600 pounds, three occupants. So uh, that's basically it. I finished getting it set up. Obviously, I'm going to try to uh, attempt to use this for checking out some places. Uh, obviously, you know, rivers, different things, uh, little magnet fishing. So let's see if I can figure out like a good kind of combination of storage compartments or something i can put in there and still be functional so uh we'll see what happens so uh yeah if you're interested in this boat at this point i haven't had it on the water yet but uh overall i'm liking what i see i would definitely search around for prices because again from what i've seen and what actually happened to me uh it was quite a bit different so I believe these are known to be like under 500 or a $500 boat. And again, mine was like 647, I think out the door. At this point, I I don't really have a complaint. It does come with a little free plastic, so if anybody out there works at a plastic company and wants to make an offer on that, uh I'll I'll bag it up and we we can work it out. But yeah, thanks for checking it out. We'll see what, how it turns out.